This week is the Atlanta Falcons call to service game. You've had some traveling experience yourself going across the pond to places like Germany, Romania. What sort of things did you learn there? Maybe a appreciation for our service members uh, making those trips? Uh, yeah, those were great trips. Um, just to get a chance to go and see those bases overseas. Um, the thing that really stood out was having those guys just tell us about their experiences and just being away from family, but still being so locked in and connected to football. Um, they watch the games, they cheer for us. Like they gotta wake up early in the morning just to watch a game. And it's just like, it gives us that appreciation and that honor and respect just that it's like, bro, these guys are putting their life on the line daily and they still wake up Sunday morning looking forward to watching us. So that's just that's just really big and really humbling. And now, now talking a little defense here with the Falcons. From last year to this year, it's almost been day and night. You know, with Ryan Nielsen as defensive coordinator, you guys have created a lot of pressure. You haven't exactly gotten to the quarterback as much, but you guys have been one of the better defenses in the NFL. What, in your words, has been the difference from last year to this year? Um, I would just say just that attacking and aggressive style. Um, Coach Nielsen, like you said, he, he's he's a very intense guy, and he brings it and it trickles down to the defense. So we don't have a choice. <laughs> like when it comes to that, we don't have a choice but to be aggressive and attacking. So that that translates to the field. And then once everybody's same like-minded, it's hard to it's hard to beat us once we're playing as eleven. You guys are at four and four right now, still atop of the division. Kind of a little bit of a crossroads right now. You guys are starting a new quarterback this week. Who's who knows what that's going to be going forward, of course, but. Where do you guys sort of assess where you're at right now as a team, not just the defense overall, kind of going into this next phase of the season? Yeah, we're four and four. Of course, we would love to be undefeated, but that's not where we're at right now. And it's the NFL. So right now we're in the middle of the pack and that's a good place to be in. You still control your own destiny. We still have the guys in the locker room that are willing and ready to compete and give it our all. So we're just ready to go out there and play another game, get a win, get a win at home, get a win in the, in the NFC. And I mean, hey, our destiny is in our hand. So that I wouldn't want it any other way.